Good evening. We'll be playing Operation Depot Red tonight. I'm Assault. We'll be doing my POV. Uh, when I die, uh, both rounds I'll quickly jump into admin cam and try to catch the action. We'll start a squad so we can catch the uh, command comm action as well. Um, this op is attack defend. Round one, I'll be playing with militia and we I'll be a rifleman and we will be defending the depot here in the Kilo 13 area of Scorpio and then round two we'll get to attack it so it should be fun times tonight I'm excited for this map we got a pretty pretty good showing tonight so be a lot of guys fighting a lot of bodies to stack I'll go ahead and get spawned in here so on Mill's side we have Captain Morgan he will be our fearless platoon commander tonight we got Macho Man, SL1, Frost he will be uh, squad lead two, Raf squad lead three. We got Galley, uh, long time no see for Galley. He's an old school reg. It's great to have him back. Uh, he'll be with squad five tonight. And we can take a look at the other team. Let's get a quick look at who's over there. Bunch of good guys. All right, gentlemen. We have a mission here. We have captured some ammo, which is in the building here to our north. If you'll reference the castle marker in Kilo 1392, you'll see that we have a cache of ammo in there. Uh, we've stolen it from the US, and uh, obviously we wanna keep a hold of it. So that's our objective here today. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna push off points slightly. Squads one and three are marked on map. Squads four and five are marked on map. Your respective squads will be at their respective points. We have confirmation that the enemy has armor assets that are going to be moving in on point and potentially attacking us. I see nothing so, marked on the map. <laughs> Raft and Lat stay alive and engage those enemies as effectively as possible. Now, these enemies can take a number of roads in. Um, unfortunately, command has dictated that we stay in these grid squares, which are outlined in red. So we cannot e exit out of those grid squares. They, they want us here holding this point as, as much as possible. What if you're the last guy so, alive? Sure. So... What we're doing here, you look on the map, one and three are gonna be more point defense, four and five are gonna be flankers. Two is our QRF, so when we have a problem, when it comes up, they're there to be our little hammer to our anvil. Again, we know that the enemies have armor assets. They have several strikers in the area that are active, but they also have some that are unarmored. So it's imperative that our hats and lats are only hitting the strikers that ought, that have a gun, right? So save your weapons, save your ammo for those guys. Do I have any questions at this time? Negative. All right. QRF, what kind of questions for me? Yeah. Okay. What was your question, Scottis? So how could Squad Two be a QRF without any vehicles? Well, it's more a, a foot patrol QRF than it is a vehicle QRF, but. You, you'll see. All right. Any other questions? <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Hey, hey, one question. Uh, do you don't have any off grid support? All right. Follow me, guys. No, we do not. My squad leading will go to Bravo, and they will go to Charlie. Um, fire team lead, please go ahead and do buddy team. We are live. Let's kick this thing off. And also, uh, when we have heavy contact, we'll fall back to the north side through the tree line and inside the seaport. Copy that. Bravo, we just want to make a uh, buddy team. Shell star and uh, the lock up. Guys, I don't know. I just want but buddy team, is that what you're saying? Yeah, we just want to make a buddy team. West or south, or both? Charlie, I want you to be mainly watching the west side and the south side, if you can. Roof engagement. When you see a contact, call it out. And if you get a, you know, 100% kill, then go ahead and shoot it. But remember to call out your contact. Alright. Yeah, roger. Roger. 
Bravo team, if you can, um, watch the main road and part of the uh, northwest west as well. Just watching the main road? Yep, if you can watch the main road, that would be great. Or the can west we side as well. The north? Um, if you want, yes, go ahead. Not too far. Right, let's go, bro. Just make sure you don't go too far mm. because when we have heavy contact, I want Bravo to be covering Charlie for their fallback. Yeah, copy. We got this big open field to our west. We're gonna you, uh, watch that. <laughs> Alright, Bravo. Copy. Looks like five's moving in. I think they'll have my southern flank there, so that makes me feel a little better. Charlie, if you can push about maybe 10 meters, uh, what, sorry, 20 meters to the tree line to our west side, because when you retreat, I don't want to be going over this huge open rock area. I want, I want us to be using a tree line. Copy. Moving. We're not supposed to be the main fighting squad in terms of vehicles, so just keep that in mind. Now we sit and wait patiently for the first kill. So I would believe that the enemy's most probable course of action is obviously to take this high ground. Um, guys, remember we, we cannot operate outside of the IJ line. And also the southern line, which is the 14 line. We'd want the high ground and then possibly use the MSR, set up a base of fire, and then shoot down on the objective while the main force pushes down the MSR. We'll see how that works out. Still pre start. I believe we're live. Yeah, we're, we're live, live. we're live. Alright, Roger. By the way, Intel says they have three armed striker and probably a couple more um, unarmed striker. Just keep that in mind. Roger, which direction are you supposed to be looking? Charlie's supposed to be watching west side, southwest. Probably south side as well, if possible. Roger. Kind of. <laughs> Lead element out here. When we see a striker or see a vehicle, I'll call out to squad five. They, they are the guys that have lads and hats. Should get eye if the enemy comes this way. If the enemy troop movement comes through here, we sh we got decent eyes. We should be able to see them. And if I die early, the good news is is the stream gets to hop in admin cam and we get to catch all the action and see the fire and maneuverment from the rest of the team play. Bravo, sit rep. Uh, all quiet on the western front. Copy. We got good rear security, but, you know, I wouldn't put it past the enemy to come around and try to hit us from the southeast.
guys keep in mind they may be going for a long flank that they may use the uh, tunnel system so if we don't hear anything by the next three to five minutes that's probably what they're doing so keep in mind to your uh, south side as well Charlie Roger Hey Zin, what's up man? It's going good. Good fun Wednesday night up. Something to look forward to in the middle of the week. Hoping to get some good content for the stream tonight. We'll see. Squally, what's the plan if they are behind us and they are coming from the uh, the east? Shoot and fall back slowly. Depending on how many, what's the number of it. If it's uh, we, if we outrun, then we should shoot and retreat, fall back to squad where squad um, squad at where Bravo is. But if um, Squad 5 is able to engage them, and we can try to sandwich them, so it depends. I'm, uh, I'm talking if they theoretically come down the road from the east. Uh, they you know it, Zen. Before everyone else. It's good times, man. Wait, one sec. Yeah, there's a big gap between 2 and 5. They could sneak through there. Um, they can also ride. Hold calm, one sec. Sorry, go ahead. Me? Uh, I'm just concerned that they'll they'll hit two first. They'll go all the way through the tunnel and then come direct east. Wait, that's gunfire. We got gunfire to our northwest. Sounded southeast to me. Yep. Um, the SWAT two has audio over an enemy uh, vehicle. Squad 5 is heading over to Squad 2 to try to support them. We are staying here for now. Copy that. We're staying here. We're holding west. Squad, um, Charlie squad, uh, Charlie fire team, I want you to fall back slightly One easily. One second, Zin. Um, relatively closer to where Bravo is. Collapse a little bit. Copy, moving. Roger, moving. Moving. 
So we have a the way it works in is we have a media team and we have a handful of guys that um, will stream the ops. Um, it's a smaller team. You know, we'll do all the events. Uh, we got enemy infantry between us and five. Command is telling me that. Copy that facing east. Oh, I can't bipod here. Uh, be advised, enemy infantry. Enemy infantry to the uh, south side five, coming from dog. Copy that. Uh, they could be directly south of me. I'm watching east. Bravo, I want you to uh, look south right now. We got squad size element enemy south side of um, Mike 14. I still can't bipod. Bravo, I want you to move into K1448. Um, go to the north side of five and prepare to and be prepared to support them. We will come that. South on this rock. Bravo, go ahead, go ahead and help Squad Five to pull back. They're pulling back right now. Go ahead and try to the rear. Can be advised, I heard a vehicle off to the southeast. Let's get to these rocks, Bravo, and then form a line and push slowly. Hit him in the rear. Confuse. Okay, you need to hold position. You got Audi on a wick. Uh, definitely not striker. Don't know if it's armed or not. I hear an enemy Vic. I hear it. Charlie, fall yeah, back further high. south a little bit. To the uh, northeast. Sorry, northeast, northeast. Copy, falling back. My bad. Yeah, so tonight's up, I want to try to get the POV from. Just a typical rifleman, saw gunner, whatever. So people kind of get what it's like. I mean, right now, there's not a lot of action for us, but the anticipation builds, and that's one of the great things about these one life events. Copy, they have an opportunity to hit them in the rear right now. We're gonna do a hit and run if you can. Copy, thank you. Oh no, Squad 5 has been chewed up. Silent is the last one alive over there. You can hold it down. I think the last op man got 16 kills, so. We got one enemy down. He's gonna put some hurt on him. Uh, Bravo, fall back. Squad 5 is swipe. Command one us to fall back. Bravo, fall back. Alright, fall back. Dalaga, we need suppression here. To myself. Do we best to fall back, bro? Charlie, Charlie, be prepared to uh, support squ uh, Bravo. Roger. Roger. We got a 50 cal on this striker here. Uh, five minutes to my south. Bravo is white. Bravo is white. Didn't we? Um, Charlie, follow me. Fall back to um, north south road. Uh, sorry, south south road. Moving. Moving.
So yeah, our one of our fire teams and then all of squad five is gone. I would assume they put a hurt on the enemy. Once we hit the road, we're gonna fall back to the uh, south side. Go ahead, Charlie. Roger, you want us to uh, continue across the road? Yep, cross the road to the south side. Roger, moving. Go, go. Got you covered, SL. Come on with it. Thank you. Oh my god, man, this guy talks so much. Save us. Um, Combat wants us to go back to his building. Let's go. And good luck, boys. Same to you. Bless. We got this. Just a reminder, if you need ammo, you are allowed to rearm from the ammo crate. Roger. Alright guys, it might be a while till we get some action. Are there ammo bags or not? Yes. Roger. Copy that, can you tell the farm? Um, you know what I mean. Like to get set up somewhere. Yeah, hard. I think hey, I can get on any of these buildings. Are you want me to join the other everybody else over there? Uh, join a south. Um, so to the. Uh, I was gonna try to get the saw set in somewhere. In this exact building, each of you right. spread out in this area. Spread out in this area Copy. in the building Copy. around us. Okay. Copy. Hey, um, Assault and uh, Regine, could you take the building at K1393? K1393. Yep. Paris, uh, come with me. Moving. Be awesome if I could get up there. That's what I was looking for. I don't think. Oh, yeah, here's uh, some stairs over here. I don't know how good of an angle it's going to have. Oh, yeah, this is sick. Normally, these buildings are like too exposed, so hopefully, this is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's plenty of windows to get some, that's for sure. Yeah, if we have to fall back through this. Bridge, like this kind of bridgey area, then oh, this ain't a good idea. <laughs> yeah, we're we're like sitting ducks up here. I feel like we gotta get eyes with those boys that are over in the foresty area, I guess. Surprised there's not more shooting going on. Oh, yeah, they haven't found our main. Main forces yet. Uh, 
they come in this spot right here, these stairs make them an Oh yeah, that's a huge open area down here. Yeah, there's some good angles for us. Not so much for them. Yeah. It's just if they if they have some guys off in the distance, definitely if they have eight dogs and stuff. Like that. <laughs> Where's this from? <laughs> That was like far southeast. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of this area. Alright, well, they know we're in here now. Woo! Hey, you guys don't have to. I want to fight these guys. All right. Guys, call your contacts. Holy crap. It's going to be southeast of me back on the hardball. Yeah, it's going to be about southeast, about a couple of 300 meters. That's that. I guess that I'm guessing maybe an optic on the striker found me. We'll get over here and see the rest of the action though. I don't mind dying when I'm POV streaming just so we can get the better bird's eye view. Okay, let's see who killed me. It's definitely this striker. Maybe, oh, well, we won't know. Probably Guido if I had to best. So there's two strikers there. Okay, we got the U.S. team making entry into the shipyard, led by King. Let's go check on this gunfight up here real quick. So, oh, so we got a mill team getting chewed up. It looks like Maul is the last one. And he's got lawn darts creeping in on him here. Lon's going to find him right here. Yep, there it is. I'm not quite sure which squad that was, but pretty sure that's the, that was probably squad two. Squad two that got killed there. They were the original rear security. I believe they ended up taking the blunt of the uh, US attack there. So right now, It appears that the U.S. may actually have more troops in the shipyard than militia.
U.S. moving to slow down a bit here as they work these buildings and clear them out. So clear up to here. They're probably not going to meet contact till the next building over. Let's go check on this uh, striker here. He's smoking. Oh, he has all of his wheels popped. But not quite yet a mobility kill. He's still moving. <laughs> With no tires at all. That is all. Oh, we still got some U.S. forces left behind. It looks like that haven't quite made it in. And I missed that lad shot. I apologize. It's my fault. I should have been over here with this. One time's hit on the striker. It's on fire. He's going to pop. It looks like Gator's just going to... And Chili might ride it out to the death here. Let's see if they dismount. And the gunner doesn't have depression. What do you want us to do in command? We're pinned down. We Alright, they yeah, wisely on. choose to dismount. So we got Toasty, Raph, and Dubs, and Quantum over here under a pretty good amount of fire. I don't... I don't see them getting fire superiority over that striker and that 50 cal, so... Looks like they're wisely gonna fall back here. We'll go check on the point and see how the U.S.'s advance is coming. Looks like we're about to get some CQB action going here. Enemy infantry contact between me and we got three Matt three here. Fifty meters. Good spot. Good hard corner. King still up, leading the charge over here for this fire team. As they looks like they're going to try to flank around. I'm not sure that they know exactly where the weapons cache is at this point. They, we, the mill does have some shooters up here on the high ground. It'll be interesting to see what they do with these four guys. Looks like about a fire team's worth. They're not going to want to tango with the strikers, but yep, yeah, that's why Raf goes down. But if they can stay on this elevated terrain, they can keep security on the cash building. Matt killed two in here. Of course, I missed it. I apologize. Right, nade out. The nade did not get Shroomer. I hear another guy. He's running around behind us. He's running around behind us. Man, do you have a West? Oddball's on the roof here. And this fire team here still. Wrapping around. Be interesting to see if they can make it around to the cash building. There was a good smoke screen here. I want to say that was the U.S. faction, but there was no troop movement after. So we got Army Soul and the gun for this one. He just took Quantum. Dubs and Toasty trying to escape with their lives down there. <laughs> so we got more smoke. I'm uh, pinned down over here with the striker. I think this team is going to hold, though. I watch the doorway. We got Barry and Matt still up in here. Along with Fluffy. Chubbs is watching the fatal funnel there. Sound. You still up, Barry? Oddball looks like takes out Barry. You can? can you see it? I wish I would have caught that hard corner clear there. That was cool. So Oddball looks like he's got an MP5. Try to watch what? My, uh, That's cool. Oh. If you... Nate, 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 Nate. Got one, got one, got one. 
Nate, Nate. I have to bandage if you're still up, but uh, I can't. If they hear this bandage, he's going to push them. Right, I'm last one over here. Oddball's trying to coordinate this push here. Maybe try to get Chubbs to breach that doorway as he and his buddy team, battle buddy, breach this one. Hard corner, hard corner. Oh, no. I think there was a... I think there was some miscommunication on that one. And then we got a TK. <laughs> That's unfortunate there. Well, I mean, it was a three for three trade. Originally, there were three mil here. Three Americans dead. Squad three, squad one. Start you guys we still got this fire team here led by Gunny. Looks like they've gotten eyes on Toasty. They're trying to keep him suppressed up there in the ridge line. gonna return some fire. Expect nothing less out of Toasty. They're really gonna they're gonna clear this contact up here wisely. They got dismounts, looks like line darts, Inquisition, Joe Mortarman. We got Poker Joker and Drew05 clearing the high ground up here, along with striker support. Copy. An ops oh King, he has made it around. This is awesome. They're they're flank. They're on the cash building. We got the Mill Command. And we got Reginald holding that doorway and Squad Lead 4 Utopian holding the other. Which his back, I believe, is exposed to the door that they're about to breach. King gonna pie it off here. He's got definitely got eyes on the cash now. He should meet this guy right here. Oh, that, that was rough. Uh, I, I think I got him. I think I got him. Good spot here. Reginald takes out King. Yep. All right, Gunny's got his team up here to the cash building now. And it looks like that element up there did take out Dubs. I think Toasty's dead as well. U.S. forces now surrounding the cash building. Utopian goes down, I believe, to a grenade. Yep, command oh, killed no, one. Around. There's multiple dead over there. Still watching the left side. They get them all? Wow. It looked like two fire teams uh, came in, one from the south, one from the north, to try to actually clear the cache building, and when they were unable to do so. They did take out one squad lead, but command has a battle buddy still alive in the cache building. And we got five Americans over here, U.S. team, and then a whole bunch to deal with up here coming in from the hills. So yeah, U.S. cleared dubs, they cleared Toasty, who were the last remaining mills on the high ground. So now that they have the high ground, they're into position to full out assault what's left, I believe, two mill inside the cash building. It's like they're going to make their way, get into position here, take their time. Ooh, okay. We got some crewmen coming in here. Watching it, watching it. Not sure what that saw was engaging. Maybe the other entrance on the uh, west side of the cache building here. Hopefully. Striker's gonna go get an angle on this other door. I can't watch the door anymore. Mm. Okay. Alright, here we go. Morgan kills first guy, army. That was one of the uh 
Oh, we got three left in here. All right. Dando comes in. Kind of turkey peaks. Let's him know he's there. There's a nade comes in by Big Agro. It's not going to do much. This is a solid effort. Why is this frag before you breach? Okay, kill yourself. Cover him. Combat indie. Copy. Mill's going to fight to the death here. One well placed nade by the US and they're toast. One. One made it in. Chili did make it in here. Sneaky. Not quite sure how he snuck in. I'm up. Think so. They're coming in right side. Yep. Dando takes another peek. Happy is going to pie it off. Oh, good push. Good push in. They push deep. Alpha Guido coming in. Takes one, gets taken out by Jake. They're gonna push Jake. You got the mill command last. He's gonna get taken out by Happy from behind with a pistol maybe. And that's, <laughs> that's a. I don't want to call it, I believe that's GG. That's a good, exciting end to round one. There it is, GG, guys. I will uh, fire. That's round one. We're about to kick off round two now. The U.S. gets their celebratory gunfire in. Well done by the U.S. faction. Solid defense by the Mills. I think at the end, I don't... We pop, Mill popped one striker. Um, and maybe ultimately those strikers... Uh, sealed the fate of the mill faction on that solid attempt at that defensive shipyard there. Let's take a quick at the, let's see. I know Guido was in a vehicle. Oh, he's dead. Um, Army took five. I think he was a gunner and a striker. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll be right back. Let's get the map rolled, and I'll be right back with you. All right. Welcome back. This will be round two of Operation Depot Red. This time we get to play as the U.S. faction, obviously, and it'll be interesting to see what the U.S. leadership works up for a planned of attack. Uh, last round... If you missed it, essentially, I believe the U.S. faction used the Strikers to their advantage, wisely so. Uh, they slow rolled them with infantry support, and they made their attack from the south-southeast on Shipyard here. Um, so we'll see if our leadership chooses to do something differently. And then we'll all get to see how well that attack carries out. Commander on deck, all systems online. Good round, last round. Met some unfortunate ends with uh, two squads that were out on the flank. You guys died a little early. Apologies for that. Hopefully you still had fun and engaged the enemy. Um, it was a fight to the last man inside the building. I killed five people, so I feel pretty good about that. Um, going forward, we, uh, we're we going to do the reverse, okay? So um, we're going to go through this tunnel system. Um, here's entrances and exits for you guys to view on your map. We're going to be going through the tunnel system and attacking them from the eastern flank. Um, I have a feeling they're expecting us to come, you know, from one of these three directions because that's the only three that makes sense because we don't have a heli pilot currently. So um, we're going to come in from the eastern flank. Squad five is going to be our uh, offset squad with two armed strikers attacking the point proper, attacking anything on this hillside up here. Um, attacking anything here, basically anything within range with those strikers while keeping them out of range of the enemy lats and hats. Um, we are going to be moving up to the approximate line is uh, where this dismount point is. Um, it's the uh, front line. We're gonna <laughs> I don't know how this got turned off. At that front line and then moving on foot, supporting the uh, armed striker that will be moving with the group. Okay. 
We do have some assets that can be called in. I have a UAV. I also have two 155 smokes that we can drop. So if we start getting pinned down heavily, if I need to smoke an enemy position, if I need to smoke our position, whatever we need, just need to call it out, it'll happen. Um, once we make it over to um, our drop-off point, which is my squad six marker, uh, basically. Um, we can't see those markers. I will, okay. Well, can you see the front line marker on the map? Yes. Okay, so where this uh, BTR thing is, we will be dismounting essentially there. I'll put a UAV up um, over the harbor, see what I can see, and then we'll go from there. Same objective as the enemy had last time. Kill everybody or find their ammo crates and destroy them and then hold the point until the end of the round. Do I have any questions so far? Yeah, can you leave Mark where you wanted the two strikers being, you know, front all assault? They're uh, marked by Squad 5's move marker. Um, I'll put a helicopter there. How's that sound? Okay. Rough estimate. You guys can move it where you need to. Okay, just find some high ground there and then cover the harbor and anything else you can see while we push up. So I'm new, can, if I'm a medic, can I revive you and you guys get like a two life event or? No. That's a negative. negative. It's called a one life event for a reason. All right, squad leaders, let's go ahead and break them out. Ladies and gentlemen, start your reasons. Hashtag bring back vehicle sot. We used to teach a SOT course and it would teach like how to do one life operations in mounted vehicles, um, hair and bones, and it was it was a very fun SOT class. It's, that one has been retired as of now. Uh, this plan would not be doable in real life. Those tunnels don't exist. Well, for this op, I'm glad they do. It'll let us get a little closer to that mill faction without getting ambushed unexpectedly. But that is interesting. If you're being serious, I honestly don't have a lot of knowledge, uh, geographic knowledge for this region of the planet. But um, for this op, it'll work out, I think. I'm mostly curious to see, again, the enemy's most probable course of action is to have some element in this high ground. And I'm wondering... Since we only got four guys, let's set up party team. I'll be with the medic. Assault, you and Paris. Copy. Roger, of course you're with the medic. <laughs> so, again, I think if our... Strikers are set up a little far east once the infantry gets about here. If it, I could see us taking fire from this ridge line, and we'll see how we deal with that. We'll see if that happens, but I don't know all the all of the plans. Obviously, that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted the POV of a normal just rifleman, just a normal saw gunner guy in a squad with no leadership um, responsibilities. And so the unknowns I have are the unknowns that a normal player would have coming into this. And I think oftentimes players are concerned, maybe like what I'm pointing out with the guys on the high ground to the south might engage us. But for all I know is plan, uh, the plans have, you know, worked that in and we're prepared for it. And leadership will have it under control when that threat arises. So again, like for the one life events, this is what plays into it. This is what makes it so cool is the unknown and really fearing for your life you don't want to die obviously
Aquino, what's up, man? What's this game looks dope? This is Squad, and we are currently playing um, a One Life event. Um, it's our community's called Squad Ups. You can check us out on our website, squadops.gg. And from there, if you get the game, you can come hang out in our community and play some of yeah, these One Life events. We can. I can spawn you in. Our um, Discord is Squad Ops as well. Yes, sir. We're making our way to the front line and our five strikers. Three armed, two unarmed strikers. Yeah, Kino, this game squad, it's a more realistic, I guess, milsim-ish shooter. It's definitely hardcore. I'm going to assign uh, medic to the Bravo fire team. A little more hardcore than most first-person shooters, for sure. Um, it's been around since 2017, I want to say. Um, but the devs, they've done a good job. They've continuously added content. I know the USMC faction, I believe Amphibious Vehicles, and the Javelin might be on the way. Squad, unfortunately, no. I think when I got Squad, it's not a free game. It's I think I paid 20 bucks for it, but now I believe they're wanting 50 on Steam. 40 or 50 is what they're wanting for this game nowadays on Steam, so... It's kind of up there. There is a lot of content. There's a whole bunch of factions, a whole bunch of maps, so many vehicles. I don't even know. I, I don't even know all the vehicles. Um, I'm more of an infantry dude, but yeah, there's a lot of content. I would say the game is most definitely worth that price. Although I feel that I think people are a little more comfortable with it being around 30. I'm sorry for this view. Obviously, I'm riding in a tunnel. Um, looks like we had a little bit of a traffic jam there. Oh, it's 40. Thanks, Billy. Yeah, Kino. Uh, Billy comes in with the chat, says it's 40 right now, so it's not too bad. My honest opinion, and uh, I've got nothing to do with OWI, but I would, to me, I've played the game. I got like 2,600 hours in the game, and I would say my personal opinion is it's worth the 40. It's definitely worth the 40, so you can come play in these One Life events with us. <laughs> About ready to get out of this tunnel. All right, we got a little bit of a view now. It's better than a gray wall. Got us on the lead striker up there. All right, we're starting to get to our dismount point. You got it for 50 sin? Oh man. You guys hop in the other striker. Hop in the other striker. Looks like we're gonna dismount. Dismount. Braggy spawn in. Let's go into the other striker. I'm gonna need a driver for your squad. You tell me. Try to figure out what we got going on here. Once again, it's an open op, so not everyone here has went through our SOT basic, so it's a little different, but everything's still normal and going as planned. All right, are you stuck backwards? Yeah, yeah, go. Oh, we got one stuck. Hey, spread out and hold security if you're not doing anything. Hold security, sorry, yeah. We're live. 
stuck by this fucking thing. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Legit says, do you play narrate every game on this channel? So, it's, we have a media team. There's a handful of us that will, um, that will stream. I do the frontline radios. Uh, that one's a little more, that one's a little more personal. Uh, we'll have a webcam up for that one. And then the One Life events, there's, uh, we got Bakar, what is it? Wilbur, who's the, he's the manager of the media team, and then we got, um, Killer Man Time. It's just some of them. Okay. We used to run a SOT vehicle class, and again, this is why I say we should bring it back. <laughs> Get out of our citizen. Are we stuck on it now? No, we're not. Just get out of our citizen. So, this happens, obviously. I mean, I've been on a couple of real life deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan, and we do flip vehicles in combat, and we get them stuck. And so, this might look a little cheesy, and maybe it's a little less immersion than what some would like, but I mean, if we're going to be straight shooters here, this does happen. But you can see how this issue here is holding up the U.S. attack. Russell Platoon is waiting. Get mounted back up here, see if we can get to the fight. Yeah, Billy, I mean, it's a good game, man. I, it's a game that, like, there's no grind to it, right? So there's no weapon skins, there's no leveling up, but... The refreshing thing about that is, you know, you you can play put it however long you get into this game. You get a little tired of it. You can go play, grind another game, and when you come back, you're not missing anything, right? Like you, you you're equal with everyone. You're not missing any guns because you're lower level or anything like that. You just jump into it, clean slate, equal to every other shooter around you, and and I think ultimately that is one of the greater things about this game. That and the teamwork, the realism, the actual tactics and movements, the suppression, the fire movement, all that stuff, in my opinion, you can't find anywhere else as cl as far as like realism goes. Like this game, to me, gets it pretty close when it comes to PvP. Like you obviously got Arma, but with these One Life events and in Squad, when it comes to the PvP, I don't really know of a game that provides any more of a realistic experience. We'll be dismounting soon. So that striker's gonna go set in that base of fire over here with Scottish Chap and Hillies. You want in there? Another one will have Galley and Exo in it. The rest of the platoon's dismounted, waiting on us. Dismount. Spawn. Spawn in. Yeah, so we're gonna be north or south of the hardball. The MSR here. North of the road, copy. Let's head in front of squad 2. Squad, um, Charlie, take point. Alright. Medic, I want you to stay in the back with me. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Alright, sounds uh, for Charlie. Yeah, yeah, good spacing. Let's keep that battle spacing, boys. Got some spacing. Got some spacing. I want at least 10 meters apart from one another. Roger. Yeah, that's right, Knox. It's um, it's just one of the things that it's somewhat refreshing, you know. Although I have at times wanted some sort of system where you kind of see the experience a player has at like a squad leader role, right? But. 
I think ultimately the overall squad community isn't really wanting that, and I get why not. So we got friendlies on the high ground up there. We're going to see the attack through, it looks like. Copy. So we're definitely tip of the spear here with squad four. Again, the objective is shipyard. Use the tree line, use the tree line. Don't expose yourself. Bravo spread out a little bit. We're a little bit too close with one another. Bum past you. Copy. That was it from Charlie. Yeah, hey, Perez, we might want to be. Full security around this building for now. This uh, side of that wall. Uh, squad lead, the uh, striker wants us to clear the bridge for mines. I got Go it. ahead, Bravo. Um, Charlie, could you set up in front of the bridge on the uh, west side of the bridge and provide security? Thank you. Good copy. Good copy. They just cleared. Should be good. Charlie, keep pushing west. Sometimes they'll put. They won't put the mine where you would expect it, like on the bridge, they'll put it before or after. Which is... obviously the way to do it, I mean... The insurgency factions and IEDs, it's the smart way to do it. Do got audio, contact south, it seems like maybe... Squad 1's fighting that element on the high ground yeah. that we anticipated. That's the objective there. We're going past it. That sounds like enemy gunfire on the coast west. The coast west? Yep. Yeah, yeah, eyes on. Eyes on. Spread out, spread out, spread out. Scratch one. I'm gonna suppress. There's a lat there as well. On the saw rounds, follow the tracers. Reloading, reloading. One Bravo set. Bravo set. Bravo set. set. Cell cross. Charlie start, uh, Charlie start going to the south south, bro. Our striker shouldn't, shouldn't slow that rate of fire down, I don't believe. There's enemy probably 100 meters west, maybe closer. Copy, spread out. I want a line formation. I want Charlie in the front. Proceed with caution. I'm gonna push it southwest. Push it southwest. Are we creeping forward, Essa, or are we holding for now? Push forward slowly. Copy that. Pops, you should probably cross the road. Bravo is spread out. Yeah, I see it coming. What's the situation on the ground? Uh, 100 meters, 100 meters by the coast on this, on this side of the MSR, up in front of y'all. Got it. 
Well, at least we did zap one with the saw. Almost feel bad for the guy, but he was standing in the open. Should we keep that battle space in, boys? Bravo, I want you to stay here and support. Charlie, I want you to push forward west side if possible. When possible. Copy, it looks like there's a smoke screen. Copy, it looks like there's Go slightly to the south side if you need to, Charlie. Um, Bravo, I want to suppress the enemy once you see them. Copy, if you go south, you're gonna... Is kind of in the way. Yeah, I see, I see, I see it. Information facing west side support. Then grab a reload here while I can. Charlie, let me know when you set on the other side. We took some light pot shots there. Maybe we overwhelmed them pretty quickly and they might have fallen back. Alright, I'm just smoking up west ahead of us so we can start moving to the next compound, guys. Copy. Stuck on something there. Bravo, I want you to head, start heading southwest. Fill the gap between the fire team and squad four. Copy that, Roger. Larry, fourteen six nine. Yep. Now you're fine. This is super Bravo, sketch. Copy all. Nice kill. Got one down on. Yeah, fucking light. Watch your feet. Spread out. Where there's one, there's more. Hey, check under the bridge. I got it. I. I think that was the one guy that did those pop shots that I was just talking about. He's probably just the last one left alive. Or got isolated. I probably holding in this cover here. Yeah, Bravo, cover Charlie. Sorry, just got hit. Spread out if you can. Those sandbags, ours are spread out, spread out. We're way too close to each other. Charlie's moving for that compound. Copy. Bravo, push up to the uh, tree line. Copy. Copy. I am going. I'm on your six. I'm on your six assault. Copy. Bravo, let's Left side's clear. Go right. South side or squad lead. Roger. Hey, I'm gonna push in this room deep. When I go deep, you clear that hard corner to the right. Moving. I got you. Sweet. Clear. Clear. Coming out. Bravo, push up to me. We got guns to our southwest somewhere. Two coming out. I just hit the striker. Pushing west side on my north. Bravo, I want you to be on my south. Let's push forward line formation. Got me. We need to push up to the right. striker. The striker's hit bad and isolated in the field right now. Yeah, keep pushing up in this field. Southwest. Bravo, stay here. I want you to engage your enemy contact to your southwest. Copy that. Um, Charlie, I want you to push further west and try to flank around to the uh, enemy contact to the south.
southwest, if possible. Push west right. side, stand right. Bravo 240. You hear the gunfire? 240, that's enemy. I'm bumping on your right side, press. Apparently contact somewhere here, I believe. Keep pushing through this 240, bro. Copy all. So were you going straight north or you want to go northwest? Bravo, I want you to start heading north. I want Swamp 1 to take over your position. Copy that, Bravo. Bring in contact, move north. Bring in contact, move north. We had a... Strikers down. Strikers down. Southwest there, Southwest Squad 1. Where are we going, Squad Lead? We're heading northwest. We want our uh, command wants us to push into the town. Alright. Ideally, I want to push into Larry 1474, but I'm afraid of my south side. So I want Charlie to push in first. I want, I want Bravo to set up security to the west side. And Saw us reloading. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely contact to our northwest by these houses. Careful, pushing up, careful, pushing up, contact yeah. over there. Copy, I'm trying to catch my FTL here. Copy. They're in these bushes. I know they're in these bushes, so. Um, Charlie, I want you to push into Larry 1311. Or K1333, the White House on the map. There's an enemy infantry close. In these bushes. In these bushes. Shoot every bush. Charlie, go first. Bravo, watch the road. While Charlie cross. You ready to cross? We cross the road north. Yeah, I'm moving. I'm crossing the hard wall. I think I go. We got it covered. All right, Bravo. This is where we died. Uh, 
Charlie, start pushing west side. I want us to be west side of this wall too. Spread out a little bit so we can increase firepower. Yo, striker, there's one on top of this big frame with the flag. Charlie, hold here. Bravo, I want you to take the yellow building. Charlie, hold here. Bravo, take the yellow building. Bravo, let's go. Move here. Move in. What you doing, man? Nothing. Somebody, Kobe. Oh, this guy's throwing smoke off the crane. This man is. Got enemy infantry northwest west. Just over the back way. This guy is on top of the crane throwing smoke off of it. Okay, Charlie, come to me. Alright, with the SO. Copy, pop and smoke. Yeah, we need to move. This striker just hit, got hit from the south. Hit. I bet it's for, uh, watch the uh, cliff to our northwest. Me and Seth are gonna go for the red house, okay? okay. Sauce cover and go. I expect Okay, moving. Ah uh, shit, I'm reloading. That's horrible. Yeah. Horrible! Charlie cross. Charlie's moving. Alright, start moving uh, north side. I read you watch our watch a six south. Two fish, two guy contest this thing. Roger. Has somebody clicked that? I don't really want to jump that wall. Oh, let me get a drum off of you. No, I don't. I want Bravo to watch this room. Charlie push north from this road. On my west side. I just got shot in the ass over here. Since we can see the whole road. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like the striker's gonna hit from the south side. Are medics still up? Medics still up. That building's clear. Oh, you're hitting that. Let me get there. Thank you, sir. I right, said, so I just watched the road. SL, do you, you to, uh, has anyone said on command comms if that contact on the tower has been neutralized? Nothing. Copy. Let's keep pushing north. We have no choice. Roger. Yeah, we could Charlie go first. Charlie go first. Let's spread out. Let's spread out, spread out. One day. I'm bounding cross. It's always a relief when someone else takes point, right? Everybody be on that wall, someone get in the compound. Let's go. I got front, someone wants the right. Ah, uh, there's a fucking dead end. Can I push across for us to that red connex box? Guys, my target is to take this uh, warehouse on, in that on my push. Oh, yeah. Move to the wall in that top building. 
Yeah, watch the grenade. Ryan, I'll get you Amazing. in a second here. You're so good. Yeah, second fucking light floor. Floor. Level that second motherfucker. Second floor northeast. Second floor northeast. Yeah, I'll suppress that fucker. I got bandage on you. I got your bandage. Don't worry. Fucking cocksucker. Hey, Charlie, I want you to cover 12-5. There's contact contact in the in the garage door opening right there. Hey, to your right, striker to your right, the big garage door opening. Ah, uh, pretty sure I just got him. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> what do you think, Perez? I don't know, bro. I was taking rounds right there. Um, I'll hold this. It's about the best I can do right now. That's why these ops are gray, like my palm is sweaty. So I know I hit that guy, but I don't know if I killed him. Perez, you got command comms? There are only so many something angles do, I can Hey, do we know where the fucking cache is, Scottish? Uh, not that us. Do we do, but I imagine it's this big pick off red building right next to me. <laughs> like, like, the one to the left. It's a bunch of sandbags there. you drive closer to me and let me get a grenade off your vehicle? So, we know there's contact behind us and I'm the last guy back here. Perez is dead. Scottish, is it the building on beside right here? If I go this way, I'm dead. And that feels like insta death, too. He's in that building there.
I really wish I knew where the target building was. Maybe it's that one in front of me? If I cross here, I'm dead. No smokes. Maybe Matt can get in a position to cover me. I don't know what that was. Oh my goodness. Well, I want to push. There's a guy left, guy right, guy in front of me. And I don't know which building the target is to push. So I will get this off on its way. It's been a GG. It's been fun. Here we go. And that is GG. I killed one with me. I took one with me. I know that. I got shot in the butt. That is the conclusion to Operation Depot Red. Everyone, thanks for watching. I got a little, my heart's beating a little bit there at the end. Being the last one alive, it never gets old, man. It's always the same adrenaline rush. I ended up with three, and I don't know how. So that's good. <laughs> Let's see, anybody? Nightmare, of course, got five. Not surprised. Uh, King, nine. This man went off. Uh, let's see, Silent got three. Thank you for coming out, guys. Check the website, squadups.gg. Create a profile. Hit us up on Discord. Link it. Come hop in these events. They're a blast, guys. You're missing out. GG, I will catch y'all next time.